Hi everyone, it's Jennifer, also known as Chroma Nails, and today we are talking nail shape. Specifically, how to transition your nails from square or squoval to almond. I typically keep my nails on the shorter side, but it's been a while since I've trimmed them and I've got a little bit of length. My nails tend to want to curl in on the corners when they get longer, so I've decided to switch it up and go almond today. If you're curious how to go almond without a trip to the salon, keep watching. I'll also be sharing a few of my favorite polish picks for enhancing your new shape at the end of the tutorial. Let's get started! Here we have my completely naked nails. They are at about a medium length currently and are shaped squoval, which is rounded at the sides and flat on the top. I want to quickly take a moment and apologize to my shorter nailed friends. This technique works best on medium to long length nails where the free edge of your nail extends out past your fingertips. The most common problem that a lot of people have when filing this shape is that it's hard to get it symmetrical. It may look good once you filed it and then once you polish, it looks crooked. Here is a really easy trick that solves that issue. I like to take a striping brush with some polish, use any color you want, and I mark the center of each of my nails as a guide. For even better results, check the mark from multiple angles to make sure you have it centered. Once I have the center marked, I take a pair of clippers and cut from the corner to where I've marked my guide to take off a lot of the excess width. This is an optional step, but it significantly cuts down on the amount of filing work afterwards. Now I'm ready to file. These are my favorite nail files. They are from Flowery and they are a two-sided 180 over 400 grit. The number on your file refers to how coarse or fine the file is. The lower the number, the coarser the file. On natural nails, my preferred grit for shaping is 180. I'll get into what I use the 400 side for in just a moment. I start by using the 180 side of my file and shape from corner to center on one side of my nail. It is important that you file all the way down to the corner so that you don't end up with a nail that looks part square, part rounded. Be careful not to file into the side walls of your nail, just the corner. Once I've done both sides, I use the file to lightly round the shape at the top. Once you are happy with the shape, flip the file over to the finer grit 400 side. Use this side to lightly file away the excess filing residue underneath the nails and make sure everything is nice and smooth. 400 grit is perfect for this. Here is a before and after comparison so you can see both shapes side by side. At this point, you can repeat the process on all your nails. Here is the finished look on all my unpolished nails. I've removed the white guide marks here. Now for polish. And here are my finished nails. I'm a huge fan of pastels and nudes on almond shaped nails. Here I'm wearing Essie Find Me an Oasis. As promised, here are a few of my favorite polishes to wear with an almond shape. Do you have a favorite? Tell me in the comments below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I've listed all the polishes in this video in the description box. If you like what you see, you can help me grow my channel by hitting like and subscribing. You can also follow along with me on social media. I'm at Chroma Nails. I'll talk to you all later.